It's Video Friday. Welcome back, everybody, to Great Photography and Video on a Budget with George E. Harrison. As always, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey. And as I tease you, told you about Tuesday, Friday, I'm going to be talking about depth of field. Or, in my case, since I shoot with two small sensor cameras, micro four thirds and a half inch sensor, I really don't have a tremendous amount of depth of field. But guess what? I don't worry about it as much as a lot of people do. Because I'm going to tell you why not. I'm going to show you my first picture that I took with uh, the half-inch sensor. This is Reggie. He's a student at the University of Lynchburg. And yes, it would have been great if I had got that little water and a little background, a little bit more out of focus. But guess what? This is what counts. I was worried about the light on his shoulders, the light hitting his face. You know, does he look good? That's a good expression. Is he sharp? Is he in focus? Is he, he lit property? Yes, he will. This is a very distinguished looking young man. This is Reggie, Reggie Davis, University of Lynchburg. So, like I said, this is what counts. Yes, sometimes you would like to be more out of focus in the background, but if you have a small sensor camera, don't worry about it as much. This is what you want to concentrate on, this image right here. And I got another picture for you. This is two young ladies that go to Elon University. And again, it would have been nice if I could have had that bush a little bit more out of focus. This was shot with the Micro Four Thirds camera. But the main thing is two, these two beautiful faces. Biana, I think I'm saying her name right. It's, I, might, I might not, but in Twyla, two students at the University of Elon. This is what you concentrate on, getting exposure. You know, you got two F stop range from this beautiful face, this beautiful face. You want to make sure both of them are properly lit and both of them look good. They got good expressions on their face and they look like they're enjoying themselves. This is the, this is the main thing. Yes, it would have been nice if I could have got this a little bit more out of focus. But again, when you give this to a parent or you to give this to them, this is what they're looking at. Do they like the expression? Or are, they, are they lit well? Do they look good? then that's what you want to concentrate on. That's the main thing. Because sometimes you're not always going to get the blurriest background you want. And I got one more picture to show you. It's almost like a family affair. This actually is Annette. She's Twyla's mother, as you can see. It's a little bit more out of focus, but not as much as some people, because I kind of cheated a little. I shot a little bit wider than I wanted, then I cropped in. That's how sometimes you can get, a, get around, maybe having not the biggest depth of field. But what's the main thing? This beautiful face is the main thing you want to concentrate. The light, while she's big backlit, the light bouncing off her shoulders, the little haze that was in there, giving the kind of a little, little ghostly look. And more importantly, look at this beautiful face. Look at those very, very beautiful brown eyes. You can just, those eyes will just melt your soul Look at that. That is what you want to concentrate on. This right here, this face, hair expression. Because yes, the background is important, but this is the main thing. So if your camera doesn't have the greatest depth of field, the lens you use, or the sensor you lose, put extra effort on concentrating on the face, posing, her expression. There's a, there's a light on the face, does it look good? Does it have a light in the right place? That's what's the main thing. Yes, depth of field is good, the blurry background, or out of focus background, a bulking, whatever name you want to call it. But this is the selling point. This is what 50 years from now, when our grandkids, the great grandkids look at this picture, they're not gonna say, oh, that background's, that background's blurry. They're gonna say, oh, grandma, great grandma, you was a look in your day. So that's what you want to concentrate on. A face like this, and, and be for real, a face that's beautiful, it's kind of hard for a photographer to go wrong anyway. So again, like I say, concentrate on the image, because we all don't have those great cameras, great lenses that give us that super, super, you know, blowout background. So again, that's just my little tip for today. And Tuesday, we're going to have a little bit more on that. We're going to show you some more pictures about out-of-focus background. We're going to have, you know, two more people we're going we're to show off. So again, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey. I'm George E. Harrison, and the reason I keep telling you I'm George E. Harrison, if you just type in George Harrison trying to find me, the, the beat of George Harrison will pop up. So make sure you type George E. Harrison. If you're watching me on Facebook, go to that little icon in the right-hand corner. You see, uh, correction, if you're watching me on Facebook, go to YouTube, then hit the subscribe button on that little icon in the right-hand corner. Uh, if you're already on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe and leave a comment. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like what you see, get, you can give me the thumb down. But more importantly, leave a comment. Because the only way we get better, or I can get better, because we're all on this journey together, is comment. Whether it's good or bad, I'm open to everything. Like I told you before, my motto is the more you learn about photography, the more you learn you didn't know. So again, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey. And I will see you Tuesday.